Hi. Oh. Uh, nice to Hi. see you again. Yes, nice to see you too. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. Yeah, my pleasure. I've been sort of following, you know, what you've been up to recently. And I thought, well, there's all these exciting things happening. So it seemed like a good idea to ask if you'd like to have another chat. So here yeah. we are. Here we are. So hi, everyone. This is Country Music News International. My name's Nigel Sharp. And the lovely lady who's waving to you way over there on the uh, west coast of U the USA, I presume you are in California, right? Yeah, I'm in uh, Los Angeles, just north right. of Los Angeles. Yep. And that is Pi Jacobs. And this is the second time I get to uh, talk to Pi, which is a real pleasure for me. I don't know how it is for Pi, but she's going to tell us all about her new kind of escapades in the world of music. Yeah. And I guess the first thing I would go to is you know, the latest album, which has been doing very well. Tell us about this album. Yeah, well, um, so I worked with uh, a new producer named Eric Korn. He's um, he's known, well known for doing a lot of blues artists. He's worked with John Mayall a lot, Sugar Ray Rayford, um, but also Americana artists, which is what I fall into. Um, he uses a lot of sort of what we would call old school techniques. So we went into a, a studio with a, all analog gear. We did eventually go into Pro Tools, but we recorded live as a band to get all the basic tracks. And I was with, um, the band is people that I've been working with for a long time. Um, Butch Norton was on drums. He uh, has been, uh, not just drummer on my records, but uh, sort of a mentor to me for the last 10 years. Um, he's a huge part of the record. And then uh, the Hall brothers, who are Adam and Zach Hall, who are, they're twins. And I didn't steal it from Randy Carlisle, I swear. <laughs> and uh, so we had, the, that was the core, was the four of us. And I think because of that and because we played live, there's a real warm group feeling to songs. And then I went in and sang previous albums. I've had a lot of different backup singers, but this I'm the only singer on this album. I do all my own backups. And so that has a certain kind of a sound too. It's, it's very stripped down the record and um, I, I love it. And we've been rolling it out. Um, we've put three singles out since January one video and it's out today <laughs> and it's the response has been great um it's been in the top 50 of the ama chart which is the americana music association chart i was on there for 10 weeks um good reviews a couple of good reviews from from england which is fun oh, okay um yeah and i'm just really excited going forward I was looking at your um, tour schedule, so you look to be pretty busy whizzing yeah. around here, there and everywhere, California, Colorado, Nashville, I don't know where else you go, New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, up to Washington, is it? One of the gigs is in? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Washington State. Um, are you now performing then, you know, all the new material from the new album? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I had the good fortune to perform a lot of it last fall when I was on a tour with the guys. And that made it so when we went in in October, when we returned, it it was very easy to record them live. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the new material um, and there'll be actually more touring than is up now. It's just they're not confirmed things that we can announce yet. No. But yeah. Um, you know, that's that's the next step. And I actually am one of those weirdos who really likes touring. Um, <laughs> although I've, I've found that what I like to do now is I like to go and come back and go and come back as opposed to just being gone because I do have a husband and a dog and it's just better for my life if I sort of parcel it out like that. Come home occasionally. Yes, yes. I was going to say, actually, one of the things that have kind of jumped out at me was this kind of clarity 
where you've got all the various strands of whatever the piece of music is and it's it's all there you know you can you can hear everything so who was responsible for doing the mixing uh so that is also eric corn um he is a masterful engineer as well as just a really great producer i mean we felt like he you know my dobro player said he felt like another band member during the process um <clears throat> like i said he's he's been doing it a long time and he's worked with in a lot of big great studios he worked with mad dog a lot um and he just brings this expertise on the producing and engineering side that i i don't think we've had before and okay. um and that was great and then the minimalistic idea was really mine and part of it came from when i tour a lot of times i play a stomp box and it's either just me solo with the guitar and the stomp box or it's me the dobro player and the bass player and we've toured so much in that configuration that you know i feel like my sound has kind of grown in that way so when we went to record i didn't want to add a bunch of stuff that we're not right. used to really every song is just the four of us or maybe only three of us and one other element like in one song it'll be a harmonica in another song it'll be a cello but if there was anything besides the four of us it was only one element right. just to it wasn't like we made a formula but in the end we looked at it and said oh you know this is really there's not a whole lot going on but thank you that for saying that it it's all there because you know that's what we want <laughs> I've got another question for you, though. You, you mentioned the stomp box, but yes. what is it? What is it for a stomp box? Hold on, and I'll go show it to you. Right. Okay. I don't know how if you could see this, but this is a thing that I built. Can you see it? I can. Okay. It really so, is a stomp box. I'm going to bring here. I'm going to bring you to it. Okay. Um, it is. It's basically like two little cajones. Okay. Right. This side is like a kick drum side, and this side is a snare. And this is how I play it. I stand on it, uh, and I go, you know. I see. You didn't use a heel. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've been doing that for six or seven years, and I've built several different versions of it. Uh, this one's been with me for a little while, but. Um, I really enjoy doing it. And I started doing it because so many gigs are, you know, I don't have the, there's not a budget to hire the band. Right. And I think I started on bass. So I feel like I, I'm always thinking about what is the kick and snare pattern, even if I'm mm -hmm. not playing bass, if I'm playing guitar. So I started doing this and, you know, I kind of went crazy in the beginning at, I'd practice and I'd sort of wake up four hours later and be like, oh, I've been practicing for four hours. Um, <laughs> and, um, but it, a lot of my shows are with, with that. And mm -hmm. so that's, I think that's why I got into the more minimal thing. Cause I was doing all these shows with just me and that. So. Yeah. I was going to say, it really is a stomp box. I thought it was like an effects pedal or something, you know? Oh, I, I, stole the idea from a guy named shaky graves okay. um, lots of people play those but the thing where you stand on it and use your heels total game changer for me because it's ergonomic and i can do it for hours and it doesn't tire me out or anything um whereas if i was doing this with my toe mm -hmm. that gets really tiresome on your body yeah. fast so so you must be a very coordinated person to do that because i'm absolutely certain i couldn't <laughs> well there's lots of video of me doing it and i've started to do a little TikTok thing of, for people to like get the you know show them all the workings of it and stuff but i i've only got one episode finished but um i mean i guess yeah i am coordinated people always want to try it out and i don't mind like especially the kids at a show are like let mm. me try it <laughs> um and it's it's fun so i let them but um my joke is that, you know, I was a cheerleader when I was in, a kid. So <laughs> you have to be coordinated for that. So I guess, yeah. 
I uh, wouldn't I wouldn't know, but you know, I'll be, uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I don't have much experience of cheerleaders, I, I can tell you. We didn't yeah. have them uh, in England. Yeah, so I've got to say from the from the new album and the the singles and what have you, Coyote has got to be my favorite. Especially the Dobro. Who is oh. it who's playing the Dobro? Uh, that is Adam Hall. I've been right. playing with him for a long time. I love listening to Dobro players. Um, he's, he's all over the record. I never want to have lead guitar ever again. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. My hopes have been dashed now. <laughs> yeah, Coyote. So glad is, you like it. Yeah, I, is that was that the, actually the first single from from the album? The first single was Too High, Too Low. Right, and then okay. Beauty came out next, and there's a fun little video for it that we shot in Joshua Tree. So yeah. yeah. Uh, so Hallelujah is the latest mm -hmm. release. Okay, yes. so I got that right. I get uh, I get a bit confused and a bit lost uh, trying to follow you know the, all these kind of streaming releases. Yes. What comes first, or what came first, and what's coming next, and when is the album actually going to be released, or or not? Or today, it's yeah, out today. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad you said that because um, <laughs> I can never really tell um, when things are sort of actually 100% available to everybody. Do you wow. actually plan to release some more uh, singles from the album? Um, I don't know at this point. Um, I would like to do a couple more videos. I have some ideas that would be really fun to execute. But I think that what's in store for me now is a lot of touring right. and just you know, trying to get it out to as many people as possible. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up about there. Um, okay. On that high note that we we look at, we can look forward to you coming over. Yes, sometime. Yes. We don't exactly know when, but uh, as soon as you can, please. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I mean where you are again. Well, I'm in the kind of middle of Germany. Uh, the nearest big city to me is Frankfurt. Right. So if you were flying to Germany, you would probably arrive at Frankfurt International Airport. Got it. Um, so uh, I'm going to wish you all the best for the rest of this year. Thank you. And I am going to get over there. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing because it's really good. I really enjoy it. Thank and, you. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you're going to make it over and I'll be able to come and see you. Yeah. That's the uh, other important happen. thing. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There we go. <laughs> yes. It yes. has been decided, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks very Thank much you. indeed again for your time. Thank you. And it was fun talking. Yeah. I wish yeah. you well. All the best. Okay. Thanks. Talk Bye. to you soon. Bye.